Chocolate City, <laughs> paint the White House black. You gonna see wet paint signs in the front yard. <laughs> you, you, you can do it by Wednesday morning. Paint the White House black. <laughs> oh, I, got, I got some technicians on on hand right now. <laughs> they got the whole thing sur Love surrounded. It. The mothership is sending me a signal, saying it's, it's time to get the mothership out of mothballs. That's all this shit come for. I mean, we all think Bush. Bush did a good job on letting everybody know how fucked up it was. And on the way out, $700 billion. I mean, if you'd have wore an NWA hat and with some big clothes, everybody would like him. He'd be gangster like a mother. I'm setting up the hey y'all be cool. Hey ho. He's alright. It's gonna sound like a ghetto radio station. <laughs> what was what was the craziest time, you know, in terms of like turmoil, the country, the state of the, the nation? Ooh, Vietnam. It was kinda even the kids just say, nah, you know, thirteen year olds. You couldn't be no no older than fifteen to get away with what they did. Flowers and guns and daddy, I'm not coming home. You, yeah, we make love, we ain't fucking, we, you know, we're not going to war. I ain't know about no Vietnam. Till we got on the road and started seeing hippies. And my friends were dying off and I didn't even know that. <laughs> they couldn't do shit when they took the election. That was scary. I mean, they was ready to count. If they tried to count them votes, they was going to do it right on television. Right in your face. And the army was waiting for martial law. I mean, they did not get, hoping that it happened. I mean, because they did not hide shit. Otherwise, if they did, they were really dumb. They just were so confident that they could change whatever you saw on television. Am I cute? Am I cute? I mean, you could have some notions, and the worst, the best it could be was conspiracy theory. That's the best you can hope for, and you better not be too close to right. Do you think music affects politics? I mean, have you seen it work? Music tears that shit apart. Hip hop is the best relation, race relationship that's gonna come about. Nobody could say shit about Eminem. He's a bad motherfucker in the hip in the hip hop world. Most wanted to say, well, he ain't black. Fuck that, he will peel your cat. That's dope. He will peel your mommy cat with that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just not true. Rhythm and what everybody can do it. Once they believe and know they can do it. Hip hop is that first one that you know. Ain't no reality that said y'all got to not ever be able to, to agree. It's just you just can't pay no attention to that old shit. And music would do that. I mean, that idiotic dance of rock and roll was messed up to me at first. But I realized once you let go of that coolness, whatever it is, if you got a cold, it gets stupid. And we wear the shit out. And my growing up, we was pimps. We thought we was the coolest mothers in the world. But after a while, we had no groove. Music get shot to shit. Everything is suspect. Ain't no logic, no reasoning. Hold true, but love. What is it that you brought to music that made you so influential? You're such a pivotal figure. 
I, I think I bought I don't give a fuck. I do the best I can, and after that, <laughs> fuck it. I do it because I like it. I mean, to me, that's what I, I can get the best out of people because I don't have to deal with what you do wrong. I ain't no goody-goody. I would like to take a stick and bust some of them upside the head. But I just get the best part out of somebody, and I, I can sleep with them. That's all I need. And I think that makes it, people realize, damn, you do that shit easier than I thought. You know what I'm saying? You can't hurt my feelings with most shit, because I'm going to wake up in the morning and say, fuck me. I already said that. So when somebody say it, I pretty understand what you mean. <laughs> Ain't no big thing. And that's, to me, that's, you take the bow, you take the blame. 